Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning into another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity every week to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening with real estate. Now I'm down here at the Whitby Harbor. It is absolutely beautiful. This is the weather that we've been waiting for ever since last fall. I mean, it's just, it's spectacular out here today. What I want to cover today is a couple of things that are happening here. I, I just want to share with you and kind of something that happened on the weekend. I ended up having I had two properties I sold on the weekend and I had nine offers on the two properties. So I had three offers on one property and I had six offers on the other property. And the range of prices that came in were, were astounding from the high to the low. So I just wanted to share with you, uh, if I took Oshawa, for instance, the average selling price in Oshawa. So when you take what people are asking and what they ultimately sell for, on average in the last seven days, the average home is sold for 118% list price, which means it's 18% over asking price. So what that means is, is that if a property was on the market at 600,000, now coincidentally, I showed two houses in Oshawa, both listed at 600,000. Now the buyer that I'm showing it to is aware of how the market is, is operating right now. And they're aware that to get that house, they have to pay around 700, 708,000. That's just putting, 18% on top of what they're asking. So that's really where we are right now. Whitby and Clarington both are 115%. So 15% over the asking price is what they end up settling out for on average. And what we're seeing is we're seeing 90% of all houses in Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington sell for full price or more than asking. So what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing that some buyers aren't really, clu not clued in, but aren't really kind of um, educated in the fact of what things are selling for based on what they're listed for. So what I would, I'm going to make this recommendation. If you're a buyer and you're looking, the easiest thing to do is just take whatever the asking price is, add 18% onto it, and that's about kind of the market value of the property. It doesn't necessarily mean you're paying 18% more than it's worth. It could mean that you're, it's listed 18% below what it's worth and you're paying market value. So the market has changed and week by week we're seeing different things happening and we have to adjust it to that, the changes in the marketplace, be it either as a buyer or as an agent helping with a buyer. So let's just jump straight into the market. In the last seven days, we've had 398 homes come to market. That's down 10 from the week before. It's almost the same. Conditionally sold, we've had 54 homes leave the market sold conditionally and 290 leave the market sold firm. So we're up 20 units in sales and we're down 10 in what's coming on the market. Again, we really need more inventory to kind of stem off this craziness as to how the market's behaving. If you are planning on getting your home sold or if you need some help just kind of educating yourself on how to be a buyer that's successful in this marketplace, I'd love to sit down and share with you how knowing these numbers will put dollars in your pocket or at least help you into a property because it's kind of hard to get into houses right now. I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555 or you can catch me here at the uh, email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week. Oshawa would be in Clarington. Enjoy this weather. It's perfect.